Hey besties! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay and on this channel we cover all things beauty and a whole lot of fragrance content. And today I am sharing the 15 perfumes I'm so excited to wear in summer of 2024. I'll link everything down below. I tried really hard not to be super repetitive and share the fragrances from last year's video, but I will put that in the description box below. That being said, I believe there are two or maybe three from last year but I just couldn't help myself like for example Tom Ford Soleil Blanc I have to add this in every single summer video because this is just your essential expensive sunscreeny bougie summer vacation vibe this one is like you're on a yacht you're on a cruise your hair is down it's all flowy you're wearing all white you have some really nice expensive sunglasses on you are basking in the sunlight like this is just a very fresh solar creamy coconut scent that i love so much and i love that it's more than just a coconut fragrance there's some spice little bit of citrus. I really do got that nutty facet. There's the pistachio in here, some tonka beans, and that amber and benzoin really warm it up in such a beautiful way. There's tuberose and ylang ylang, which are beautiful in the scent, and yeah, it just reminds me of a hot summer day. I love that extra sweetness, that creaminess from the coconut summer staple. Alice Brooklyn Miami Nectar does also remind me of a summer vacation, but this is something I would pull out when I want something a little bit more fruity, fun, and free. So this reminds me of being on the beach, there's a party going on, loud music playing, people are dancing, laughing, having fun, and... You go in line and you get yourself like maybe not like a pina colada, but like something very fruity, very uh, sweet and refreshing. This really gives me that vibe. And while you're sipping on that beverage, you're also picking up on the aromas of the ocean. So you're getting that salty woody component that driftwood you're picking up on the palm leaves it is a little beachy and also like the ocean air and i also pick up on the note of frangipani which i love in my fragrances and i find that it gives it more of like that tropical warm vibe that i just love especially for the spring and summer and i get really great longevity on this scent versus something like Sole Blanc. I've been talking about Ylang and Gold from Amicala for a while, so I'll keep it brief, but this is one of the most feminine, beachy, elegant scents you're gonna come across. Honestly, this is definitely giving beach wedding 100% because it's so dreamy. Like, this is a very dreamy, sweet, addictive, Ylang Ylang vanilla scent. I do get hints of the coconut as well, but it's just making the whole thing so smooth and so creamy, as well as the sandalwood. It's not that very dry pencil shaving sandalwood. It's a really creamy, smooth, beautiful, woody sandalwood, just giving it that base. I love this. I love the way it's done. I do get the slight citruses, especially in the opening, and it's just one of my favorites, you guys. I love this. I always will, and if you want to smell super feminine in the summertime, I mean, this is it. The only thing, and I have to mention this, because I always do, is if you look at that right there, this is what it would look like on your clothing if you sprayed it all over. So I do want you guys to be aware of that. I would personally just put this one on skin. It's going to give you a really beautiful glow. I don't really love them, honestly. I would prefer an option without the shimmers because I do really like this, but it's more of like an intimate to moderate projector, so I'd love to be able to overspray it all over my clothing and not worry about the mess but so breathtaking absolutely beautiful such a fabulous scent and then creme brulee by theodorus calotini's if you like a rich decadent vanilla coconut scent this is so scrumptious you guys i have been 
so into this fragrance. I've been wearing it constantly. It has really good performance, number one. And number two, it is out of this world sweet gourmand goodness. The burnt sugar in this fragrance kind of gives it that toasty vanilla coconut dessert vibe. It's creamy, so creamy it's almost kind of buttery. And it is a bit tropical in the same way to me that Madagascar Vanilla from Nest is. So if you like this oil and you mix it with the Theodorus Calotini's Creme Brulee, you are going to be smelling so, so good, guys. If you like sweet, buttery, almost kind of cakey vanilla scents, you will love this. And I feel like with the Madagascar Vanilla too, I almost get the same amount of vanilla that I do the coconut. I think they are blended to perfection and every time I wear this it is so incredible. So if you love coconut scents but you don't want something that's beachy, you want something more vanilla, more gourmand, more thick and just so, so rich. This is so enveloping, so sweet and delicious. Very, very good option. This one has like whipped cream, coconut milk, vanilla, and burnt sugar. And I get it all in the best way possible. Number five is Moonlight in Heaven by Killian, which is a very unique take on a mango fragrance because it's not super juicy or even like syrupy sweet. It's a very light, fresh, soapy, take on a mango fragrance and very citrusy, very aromatic, tropical, feminine. I love the opening because you have that dry citrusy grapefruit and lemon and a little bit of pink pepper spice which kind of just gives it a little bit more character and the mango again mixed in with the citrus. I kind of think they even each other out. I think the coconut does aid in really balancing out the notes of the fragrance and keeping it from being too harsh uh, because you also have this vetiver at the base which does make it feel a bit more earthy, a little woody. And then this gorgeous note of rice making it more powdery and feminine as well as a beautiful floral jasmine note. This is such a pretty scent and I think I've said it before but definitely one that is going to really make you stand out. For the time you can smell it at least. Sunset Hour from Goldfield and Banks and guys this is so flirty, so feminine, so warm and sweet. Really really great option if you're looking for like a fruity cocktail of a fragrance. This has peach and raspberry and almost like a creamy citrus, like a creamsicle mixed in with those fruits. It is absolutely mouth-watering, very smooth fragrance. There's cashmere wood and a very creamy sandalwood as well. I pick out the spices and I think those are what makes the scent a little bit more fun and kind of spicy, like fun, outgoing, like flirty in my opinion. I love a good like fruity spicy scent and I think this is really gorgeously done. I think I would definitely wear this to a summer party, I would wear this out with my friends. Whenever you want something very fruity, bright. And beautiful. Seven is Brown Girl Jane Carnival, and this is mango. This is sweet, syrupy, juicy mango. It's a very pretty tropical fragrance. I love the addition of the spice. I think the spices are supporting characters, the pimento and the ginger, that really do make the fragrance smell more outgoing, more upbeat, very high energy. I'd love to wear this on a cruise. I've said that before. But I think it's just so fun and exciting with the spice. There's the nectar making it even more delicious and a beautiful creamy sandalwood with the vanilla. I love this. I think it's a beautiful take on mango. There's also some florals. I know mainly the jasmine I pick up a little bit. Mm, but if you like mango and you like a little bit more of a fun, upbeat, sexy mango, Brown Girl Jane Carnival, absolutely. I've heard some people say they're really not picking up on the spice, but I personally do. I just think it's not done 
in a way that is too intense or too overpowering, which I really love, especially being that I am going to be wearing this in the summer. And I find that this really does perform beautifully. I get a good amount of hours. I'd really like to try more from Brown Girl Jane. Let me know your favorites down below. A is Cassiopeia from Tiziana Terenzi. This is my first from Tiziana Terenzi and the bottle is so gorgeous. This is definitely a work of art. I mean the packaging on this is immaculate. It has some weight to it and it's just so pretty to look at. This scent though is very sweet and fruity and fresh. You definitely pick up on a lot of the musk and the more it dries down, the more powdery that it gets. I kind of feel like the musk that's used here is like that white musk because it's very soft and delicate and powdery and the fruits and the fragrance make it feel... There's like some citrus, some passion fruit, it really has this candy sweetness to it that is just undeniable. It's really pretty, super easy to love, non-offensive. It's a very pretty girl fragrance and I find that this scent also layers so nicely with other perfumes in my collection. And on its own, it's very likable, very easy reach. Don't have to think about it. It's gonna fit the bill for multiple different occasions. And even though I'm saying it's very powdery, very candy sweet, it's still done in a way that's a little bit more elegant and refined. So, super pretty fragrance. I really pull the passion fruit, the tonka bean. There's that freshness coming from the lily of the valley, I believe. Some carnation and cassis and fern really really pretty and you do also get that musk with the sandalwood at the base and one more time for this gorgeous bottle nine is parfums de marley Cassilli, which is one of my all-time favorite fragrances in my collection it is equally bright and beautiful and sophisticated and classy this scent is such a gorgeous, warm, fruity floral. It opens up quite sour from the red currant, but quickly you start to get that plum. And to me, the mix of the fruits with the frangipani, which I always say is very warm and tropical. Like when I wear fragrances with the note of frangipani, I kind of feel like the sun is just shining down on me. It really gives fragrances that warm, fuzzy feel, which I think with the fruits kind of gives it a peach vibe. Or maybe it's the color of the bottle that is giving that impression. Or maybe there's a peach note that's not listed, but I really do get like that soft, fuzzy, warm, fruity sweetness that I really love. And again, it could definitely be the florals with the fruits, with the sweetness. This has vanilla and tonka bean. And again, even though I find this so joyful and so happy, perfect tropical summer fragrance. I still think it's very sophisticated, elegant, and classy with the rose, there's petalia, and a really beautiful note of sandalwood at the base. And I really think this scent comes alive in the summer. 10 is New York Flowers from Bond Number no. 9. And this is a feminine, fruity, floral, sparkly fragrance. So it opens up with the effervescence from the Cur Royale. There's a sparkly, juicy quality from the pear. And a really bright feel from the clementine. The opening is so delicious. The more it dries down, the more you get the florals. There's some jasmine in here. There's a very elegant rose. And on the final dry down, you do pick up on a lot of the iris, making it more powdery and a touch more mature. So very, very juicy the whole way through though. Like I definitely still pick up on the Cur Royale. I still get that juicy pear, but I also really enjoy and pick up on the iris, which again, just makes it more powdery and a little bit more clean, fruity, juicy 
floral. 11 is Chanel Chance Autange, and this is the Toilette. And anytime I put this on my body, I feel so fresh, shampoo-y, and effortlessly beautiful. I feel like I got ready in five minutes, but somehow I look and smell like a million bucks. And it just doesn't try hard to be gorgeous, but it is. Those dry fruits and citruses. You guys know I love dry fruits in my scents. I think they smell so chic. And again, with the iris. So fresh, so shampooy, so pretty. This is such a stunning scent for any occasion. You can really dress it up and you're gonna smell again, just really effortlessly beautiful. Or you can wear it for every day. I personally do reserve it for special occasions. I also wanna say I get pretty great performance on this scent for it being so fresh and so clean. But again, if you want something that's kind of similar, but not as much money because this really is pricey for how much you're getting, Finery Flower Bed is pretty close. Not identical. To me, this one feels a little bit more classy, but very, very similar nonetheless. I forgot the notes, so I wanted to check. Top notes are quince and grapefruit, mid notes are hyacinth and jasmine, and base notes are musk, iris, Virginia cedar, and amber. Very cool, very fresh, so beautiful. And I think I'll put the notes on all the fragrances on the screen. 12 is Fleur Soft Spot, and this is a beautiful, fresh, musky, creamy skin scent. This is really lovely, beautiful for before bed. That's when I tend to wear this, but on a really hot summer day, it kind of has that creamy, lotiony, vanilla smell on the dry down, which I really like. And it's just very warm and familiar, similar to Fuller Missing Person. But I do find this is even more musky and fresh. So yeah, I love those citruses in the opening. I do find that on the dry down, I kind of lose those. But I still get those really pretty florals, the musk, the warmth. And I can't get over how creamy this is. It melts into my skin so beautifully and it's really pretty for every day. And 13 is Killian's Rolling in Love. This is sweet, sexy, and absolutely addictive. I had to give you a date night option and this is so absolutely it. This is almonds and tonka bean and vanilla, very powdery and musky super sensual and very very feminine every time i smelled this and went into sephora i just knew i had to get it and eventually i did thank gosh i have been thinking about this fragrance for so long there's also some tuberose that i pick up on and if you like sweet uh almondy floral fragrances such as Jo malone Scarlet Poppy, I think you'd really like this. This is absolutely mouth-watering and it will have them on their knees. This is one that I do recommend year-round. It's sweet, but it's not too heavy. It's not cloying. It never gives me a headache in the heat. I've wore it like three times now and oh my goodness, I blended this with Escapé Gourmand and um, another Anishio fragrance compliments galore. I got four compliments in the span of 10 minutes. So on its own, people love this as well. And so do I. And I think if you do have similar taste to me, you'd love this. Number 14 and 15 go to Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Blush and Good Girl Blush Elixir. So Good Girl Blush is a really gorgeous feminine smooth creamy floral scent it's absolutely beautiful in the opening i get this beautiful brightness coming from the citrus and a very delicate peony note now in this one it's still a really nice creamy floral but they made it a little bit more sexy more seductive this one has a note of patchouli you get more of the ylang ylang at least to my nose and instead of the peony, you're actually getting that rose, which to me makes it even more romantic. So I love this. I think it's beautiful. It's not quite as like candy sweet 
as the original. So if you wanted something with a little bit more grit, edge, a little bit more bite, I think that you'd really enjoy this one. It's still sweet. You really get the vanilla, uh, but to me, I almost even get a little bit of like a fruity sweetness, maybe like a, a red berry or something like that. And it's a little lipsticky as well. Very, very pretty fragrance. Beautiful for date nights or just, I mean, I will wear this every day, okay? Every day for any occasion. They're both so pretty and very, very feminine fragrances. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do not forget to like comment subscribe all the good things and let me know down below three fragrances or more if you want to share that you're excited to reach for for summer of 2024 i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one i also want to give a tiny shout out for sunshine woman from amouage it does remind me of like warmed up dry apricots it's very aromatic very creamy and I'm still getting to know this scent. I think it's really pretty. It's just in the opening. I kind of almost got like a um, like a powdery candy medicinal vibe. If you've ever opened up a bottle of Tums and you got that dry candy sweetness, that texture that's a little bit medicinal, that's kind of what I got in the opening. So I was a bit thrown off, but on the dry down, it gets more creamy. I am really liking this fragrance, but because I haven't wore it for like a full day yet, I didn't want to include it in the video. Well, I am, but like not in the 15. Do you know what I'm saying? I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.